Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me. It's greatly appreciated. Our Tri I our tribe, yes, our tribe and our community is growing so fast, and I'm so grateful and blessed for that. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. There goes some lights again. <laughs> uh, and uh, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact and gift and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos are giving you good vibes and, um, what is it, good vibes and good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trials and tribulations right now and need val validation and confirmations towards their journey, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for stopping by my channel and giving me so much love and support. I am greatly appreciated. And I hope that you are resonate resonating with the content of my, uh, content of my video. And today, I'm listening to 5D Meditation with Power, Psychedelic Brain Music for the Deepest Lucid Dreams in 3D th Theta Waves. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is Twin Flame 101, when you're so, hey, Oka, when you're so determined to not let the darkness get the best of you. Today, y'all, oh Jesus, the last couple of days, you know I must be on something because the daggone lights keep flashing and everything. It's been really going through it, you know. Um, I talked to one of my love bugs yesterday and today, and they were talking about, you know, we're getting upgrades and upgrades and downloads. And I say it got to be something because it's like I'm just getting hit left and right. You know, folks want to come at me sideways, so I'm just cutting cords with everybody. I'm just like, if you can't respect me and respect respect the game, you got to get up out of my life. If it has to do with family, you know, it's hard when it has to do with family because it's just like you're already going through enough and it's just like when you just constantly feel like you're you know you're tensed up and you you know you gotta walk on eggshells i don't like walking on eggshells around nobody especially not in my damn house no i don't do that but it's just like everything is getting to me like you know you're heading towards something big and beautiful you can't really enjoy the little bit of happiness you get in your life because darkness just want to come up here and float you you know just throw a monkey wrench in your program and it's like i had to keep telling myself because y'all don't know i was like on that like a hairline away from a daggone forehead and i mean a big forehead you know of just saying I i'm done I, I quit i'm done i'm I'm tired you know i'm allowed this stupid stuff to win and it's just like i hear my grand my grandmother maddie come in and she's like baby we're, we're sending you so much love and energy right now we know you're tired because you know if you've been strong for so long that stuff gets to you because it's just like you know i'm thinking about my best friend of 20 20 some years she passed away i moved to georgia in 2010 and it was like, soon as I moved there, it was moved here, it was already a culture shock because where I was in the Midwest, it was like a melting pot. You know, I was around Cape Verdeans, Panamanians, Cubans, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, uh, Mexicans, uh, everybody. You know, it, it, it's just different melting pot. When I come here, it's either African American, Asian aspect and western indian aspect and it was just like more african-american i've not been around so many daggone black people in my life and i'm military you know i'm a military brat and y'all don't be laughing at me because even though that is my culture i'm not used to being around them that much and me and my kids were like my mom I'm like mom i ain't never seen this many black people in my life you know and it's just like it was different when we used to come and visit all the time but right when we came to move down here it was like april 22nd my best friend passed away 
the, the next thing you know, my other best friend from seven years, she passed away in October. So it was just like not even back to back. And I really didn't have nowhere to grieve because those were my best friends. Because it was just like, you know, one passed away and then the other one called me a couple of months later trying to find me because we had lost touch. And then she was just like, yeah, I heard, you know, she passed away. And next thing you know, she ended up getting an illness. And then when I went towards my family for support, they're just telling me to get over it. So I never really got a chance to get that closure with them. So it's always been really, really hard, especially with my best friend that passed away in uh, October. Her birthday was just on the 25th. So I'm just catching everything back to back. And, you know, you're trying to stay strong. And, you know, I push out so much love. And it's just like I was telling the love bug, you know, today and yesterday. It's just like so much love and positivity I'm pushing out. What I get back ain't what I'm putting out, you know, because they're always telling you whatever you put out is what you're getting back. And I said, I know I must be close to something because I said I couldn't even really enjoy you know, my channel being, you know, growing because it's almost like the 1,020 right now. And that is a beautiful blessing because it's like every couple of months I was getting subscribers in. Like I'll probably get about two or three. But after I hit that thousand, it just seemed like everybody was coming in back to back to back to back. And it was so beautiful. And my friend was like, Rosa, that's a blessing within itself. And it's just like, I'm tired of being here. I'm tired of dealing with the ugliness. I'm tired of dealing with pet negativity. I mean, yes, there's a lot of people that lift me up, but then it's just like when it's close to me, it's like a put down. And I'm like, God, dog, I'm tired of dealing with this. It makes me want to close off and just say, bump it. You know, and it was just like, I had to do that cry today. I had to listen to a meditation uh, music. The one matter of fact, the one I'm listening to right now. And then I jumped from that to negative block thinking, um, you know, uh, depression. It, it was just so many things hit me at once that it was making me face everything. You know, missing my dad, not having closure, um, you know, dealing with all that. That was enough. You know, especially, you know, with my dad, I try to stay strong about that. But it's like, you know, God really don't want me focusing on this month because it's like my calendar is still on March. My daughter, I was like, um, I told my daughter, well, since you're standing there, just go ahead and um, cut it out. Oh, it is there. She, I guess she didn't. Um, <laughs> she did. She put them up and she's like, Mom, April's not there. I was like, dang, that's a sign. But it's there. But uh, I guess it was just like at that time. You know, God didn't want me or universe didn't want me concentrating on this month because I really don't care for this month. I was like, can we just skip the May? But then it's like my birthday and it's like people I want to celebrate with are no longer living. So I'm just like, wow. But I just try to keep focused on today. Try to keep focused on the now. You know, I don't want to, you know, stay focused on the things I don't have in my life, you know, because it, it's just it is like right now darkness is having every stirring that ish pot for real. And I'm like, dude, if you don't back the hell up off of me, you know, because I say I'm just getting sick and tired of that. You know, I say I push so much love out of people because I don't want to feel like I'm a hypocrite. You know, telling people, be patient. You know, things are coming into your life. Just pay attention to the signs. And I'm seeing the signs all the time. But it's like when you're you're having financial issues and you're having family issues and, you know, you're dealing with grief and you're just depressed and you're just trying to be positive and trying to look at the positive outcome. It can become hard. You know, I tell y'all, I, I keep it realer than realer can be. You know, I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing and say, oh, I'm fine. And knowing I'm like a mental case after I get off this daggone video, I'm not about to do that. Because it's just like, I have my moments too. I have my days too. But I want to make sure I'm good in a good head space. I want to make sure I'm good in a good vibe space before I come on here. Because I don't want to push that out to nobody. You know, because it's like everybody has their moments, but I choose not to allow y'all to see that. If y'all see me in an emotional state, it's because I feel something that just popped up. I, you know, I'm like, God, dog, I'll, I'll, you know, curve it, curve it. And it won't allow me to curve that. It's making me feel it. It's making me, you know, show y'all that, you know, I can be vulnerable with you. You know, I'm putting that trust in y'all. You know, some people will laugh at it and think it's funny. Because the situation I've gone through, I've seen people laugh at me, you know, or say something rude about my dad saying, oh, I wish Prince was dead. You know, that that's some hurtful situations or, you know, they're putting my dad's, you know, post-mortem picture out on the Internet. 
that was a lot to deal with especially like right on the anniversary i'm like how dare you you know why i said after two years you had to show that what was the, i mean what was the purpose and it just seems like all these people in the group that you claim you love him they're all posting all these post-mortem pictures and want to overanalyze stuff and you're not thinking of the sensitivity towards other people so it's just a lot of stuff that i was going through you know and i love y'all to death because y'all send so many positive comments and they make me cry you know because i get emotional and i i feel grateful you know there's like i was telling one of my my extended brothers yesterday when i was talking i used to ask you know the universe am i cut out for this why is all these things happening to me you know do i have what it takes to do the things that i do here and it's like when i ask all that i get validations and confirmations through the views it might not be a 1k view you know some of my videos are 10k 12k but it had to consume that over time but it's just like the 50 people that come in and watch it or the 20 some people or the 30 some people that's a blessing within itself because it'll continue to grow you know the more i start being consistent about the things and i i you know i keep it real with y'all and let y'all know you know you're gonna you're not gonna always have a good day but i had to really you know because i really was acting ungrateful like a little blessing came in i'm like yeah okay you still, I mean, I'm, <laughs> you know, but I had to be grateful for that situation that came in, you know, because it could, I could have been still stuck in that state. And I cried and I told God and I said, I'm sorry for acting ungrateful. It's just when you push out more, more love towards people, more positivity, or more realness, more awareness towards people to let them know that what, no matter what kind of, you know, trauma you're going through you're gonna make it it's gonna take a daily basis for you to tell yourself you know even if it takes for you to look in the mirror and say i am this i am that when you start putting i am i'm going to make it i'm going to become stronger i'm going to get more knowledge than i have before i'm going to you know embrace my gift i'm going to be grateful for everything that comes into my life you know i'm going to be patient i'm going to have my faith you know you when you start doing stuff like that every single day you know it becomes easier you know i'm going to get over the things that i'm going through that's been set upon my life you know because there's so many of us are going through some hardship there are so many of us that has you know you know i, I feel very blessed when you can open up and tell me even if it's on one-on-one -on -one, you can tell me the things that you went through and it's so heartening and saddening when I can hear the things that y'all went through. It breaks my heart. And I'm just like, you know, I wish I can take that pain away. And it's just like a blessing when I can hear people tell me, Rosalyn, you don't know how much this is really meant to me, or you just spoke the things that I needed to hear today. These are the words that I needed to hear to get through my day. So it's just like when you're going through things, don't allow darkness to get a hold of you. You know, that's the reason why it's going because it's like I seen a post yesterday when I was coming up with some of my new positive thumbnails and it sit up here and said, you know, uh, God must be busy working on you, working on something in your life because the devil wouldn't be fighting this hard if it wasn't. And so you have to know that there's bigger promising things coming your way when you can start. I mean, it was getting even irritating to me and I try to be blessed and happy, you know, cheer people on when good things come into your life. But I was like, I'm so tired of hearing about everybody else's stuff. When is my stuff going to come? When is my happiness going to come? And I'm knowing I had happiness within me, but it was like, when you see other people starting to get things around you even though it could be hard because you want to congratulate them but then you got that little bit of <clears throat> you know when is the, i was like i'm happy for them but okay what about me you know and it's just like you have to be willing to cheer them on like this is your blessing too because it's like when you repel somebody who has something because i've seen somebody you know i say oh you know hey you know guess what i got over a thousand and like oh congratulations and i'm just like you know what, thank you. you. Even though you want to be nasty, nasty nice, or you being phony, hey, that's all right, because that's messing with your blessings. They ain't messing with mine. So, you know, just just know that things are going to come your way, and it's going to be hitting you below the belt, hitting you in the gonads. But, you know, you keep going. You keep doing you. And um, I'm going to give a post notification shout out to uh, Michael Love. Q Estas, I hope I said your name right. I, I, I apologize if I didn't. 
and um uh b x b b x o x e and yasmin as much love to you um I'm going to write down some more people that came and subscribed to me as well. So much love to you. Stay blessed. Stay humble. Be safe for everything you do. Have a great, blessed weekend. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. And be wild.